I moved out and we got divorced. She moved in with that guy and left him two months later. So she messaged me recently saying that she regretted her decision of leaving me. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. I hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story. Guys, I will put the link to this in the description like usual. You guys read the title. Let's get into it. So, my ex-wife, 28-year-old female, wants me, a 30-year-old male, back after a year. <laughs> he starts off with, we have been together for eight years when we got married. One year into the marriage, we tried to have a baby, but she had a miscarriage early on. She got really depressed after that event. Two months after that, some co-worker of hers tried to hit on her really hard. She was really impressed with him for some reason and eventually they met a few times. They only went as far as kissing when I found out. And when I confronted her, she wanted to end our relationship. This breakup happened in September of 2018. Mm -hmm. I moved out and we got divorced. She moved in with that guy and left him two months later. Wow. Wow, that quick. Whoa. I offered her a chance to make things right again between us, but she refused. We didn't really talk since then, around November last year. Now she is with another guy, and this new relationship seems to suck for her also. <laughs> Nothing's working out for her. Oh, man. So she messaged me recently, saying that she regretted her decision of leaving me a thousand times. She can't forget me and looks for me in every man, only to realize that I'm not there anymore. Said she cried for weeks after our divorce and simply cannot forget me. She said, I can't really be myself with anyone else, blah, blah, blah. She said she wants to meet for some talking, and I suspect she will try to persuade me to try again. What do you guys think? Shall I give her another chance? He has additional info here, let's see. Additional information. I didn't have any relationships since our breakup. This was the first relationship for us both. Oh, wow. To sum everything up, my ex-wife who ended our relationship a year ago probably wants to revive this relationship. Edit. Sorry for my language. I'm not English. Whoa. <laughs> Let me give my thoughts. Wow. So... <sighs> mm, mm, mm. She did not only move on to the AP and it didn't work out, but she tried with someone else and it didn't work out. And then she realized, she realized how great of a guy you were. Now, I personally, you know, I, I know people married. I knew I knew a married couple who who actually went through that whole um, the the miscarriage and all that. And I can admit it does mess with you. You know, it do, it can send you into depression. I'm not going to lie about that. That's true for both the male and the female. And in this case, um, I, I saw them both like their relationship went downhill after that. And I don't know if if it becomes a situation where you blame your partner. You know, it's your fault. You did it. You're the reason something's wrong with you. You know, um. But it can it can cause a separation. But I eventually saw them those two come back together. And it's like they didn't separate. They still live together and everything. But I just remember talking to them both actually. They they were going through it. And um but they worked it out. They uh I don't know if they went to counseling or anything or something, but I guess they just realized like, look, you're my wife, you know, you're my husband, we're here for each other. You know, this happened. Maybe we'll try again down the line. And um, I don't know. Actually, I think to this day, they're afraid to even try again. You know, they're afraid to try again. But uh, I have to be honest and say, I do understand how that can send you into some to some form of depression or 
just sadness, you know, that's a, that's a huge loss, you know, um, but I, but still, I just can't stand when someone, uh, an event happens in the marriage, like, you two are married through thick and thin, and you run to someone else to, to sleep with, and and, and be with like you that's your comfort that's how you're going to get through this by sleeping with someone else it doesn't make any sense and it took her two whole guys to figure out that my husband did absolutely nothing wrong well duh you both lost something going and sleeping with someone else isn't going to fi fix the situation even if it was him doing it he went and slept with someone else. it's not going to fix that situation you know that's that's silly that's silly to do. Now she's two guys in, supposedly. At least that's what you know. Two guys in. And now she wants to come back. In my opinion, dude, heck no. Heck no. You bet not take this lady back. For what? For for why? You see what she does when 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 crap hits the fan and there's issues, she finds comfort in other people. She didn't confide in you. She didn't run to you and hold you and or ask you to hold her and help her get through this and we can get through this together. What well, it was none of that. She went to a co-worker and then moved in with the co-worker and then moved in with someone else. No. No. Let her look, you made your bed, you lie in it, you go have a ball, go have a great time. You clearly don't want me. You clearly don't need me. I'm not enough for you. And you guys already went through the divorce. I don't understand the whole remarriage thing in a lot of situations. Remar no. No remarriage. You don't even take an ex back that cheats. She cheated. You got divorced. You got free. Stay free, dude. Stay free. Guys, let's go ahead and check out these comments. Alright, someone says, you are plan B. She will stay with you until another plan A catches her eye. Thank you. Never be anyone's plan B. Absolutely. That's exactly what it is. You are definitely plan B. Mm -mm. Nope. She, she just broke up with that second guy and she's lonely. She misses the comfort you gave her. She misses the security and she wants it back. Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Someone said, this sums it up. She's proven that she wants someone else, but is now unsure that she will be able to find someone else who is better than OP. She will always be looking to upgrade for him OP. He needs to cut all contact with her and move forward in his life. Absolutely. She will always be looking for the better deal. That's why I said, I used to say all the time, and I've said it in more recent videos too, but I used to say all the time. I'm not, I don't knock anybody who wants to be in a relationship. If you want to be in a relationship, be in a relationship. Are you willing to play the game? You know how she's going to act. You know how she's going to be. You have to be willing to play the game. She's always going to be looking for a better deal. It's, it's, that's never going to go away. Someone said, exactly. She already planned to cheat on you and is now only trying to get back together because her previous two relationships are not matching up to the fantasy. But the moment she finds a new shiny toy, she will be back to her old ways. Absolutely. Someone said, you already tried that and she didn't go for it. She refused. That was the chance to get back together. And she didn't take that chance when she could have. Not many people get the opportunity for a second chance. She had her opportunity and turned it down. Let that be the end of it. Someone said, someone's calling out something. She can't forget me and looks for me in every man, only to realize that I'm not there anymore. Said she cried after, said she cried for weeks after our divorce and simply cannot forget me. I can't really be myself with anyone else. Well, boo-hoo, she should have thought of that before she cheated on you. I wouldn't go to talk to her if I were you. You already know that she reacts to hardship by cheating. Yep. The fact that she's trying to get you to meet up with her while she's still in a relationship shows that she has apparently not learned to be faithful either. She needs to sort herself out. And you are much better of detaching from the whole thing. You're already a year out. You've already picked your life back up. Don't get sucked back in. Right. 
Don't go back, man. I'm telling you, don't go back. But man, yeah, she is still in a relationship. Her relationship, she just doesn't like it anymore. She's not having any fun or maybe he's not paying for things or whatever it is. And she wants to go back to you. She wants to cheat on her current boyfriend with her ex-husband. She's messy. She's messy. Yeah, she's always going to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Whoever makes her happier at the time. Okay, I want that one. No, I want that one again. Okay, I'll come back to you. No, nobody has time for that. Grow up. Someone said, taking her back would be the biggest mistake of your life. Have some respect for yourself and leave her in the dust. You deserve far better than being someone's backup plan. A absolutely. Someone's calling out something. I can't really be myself with anyone else. Blah, blah. This is a red flag. And not for you, but for her. It sounds that she wants to define herself within the context of your life, and that will lead to a codependent and unhealthy relationship. It sounds like there is something she is looking for. She did not find it after her miscarriage. She did not find it in the divorce. She did not find it in her previous relationships. And I can promise you that she will not find it in you. Absolutely. You're just, you're just better than those two guys. And she's like, okay, these guys out here suck. I want to go back to what I had and I'll settle for that. I'll settle for what I had because it's better than the two guys that I ended up with. No, man, she's settling for you. Screw that. Mm -mm. Don't take her back. She is looking to you so that you can give her a sense of purpose. She is looking to you so that you can give her meaning. She is looking to you so that she can find direction. You have never, nor will you ever provide her these things because these are things that she can only provide for herself. If you think you can, you will place an impossible burden on yourself. One that will exhaust you and you will create an insatiable monster in the sense that no matter what you do, she will never be happy and she will always demand more from you. She needs time to find out who she is and to develop internal mental and emotional resources that will enable her to be able to carve out her own path in life. If your paths cross, if you have more in common, then that is what is known as compatibility. If she develops differently, different values, different tastes, and different goals, then you would be incompatible. Do not deceive yourself by believing that you can find her own purpose for her. Doing so will only rob her of an opportunity to be emotionally and mentally independent and self-determined. Your actions may seem noble, but you will be doing more harm than good. Wow, I like that one. Absolutely. And here he is. He replied, a little more info on can't be herself with anyone else. She has mental health issues, anxiety, panic attacks, etc., and no one seems to tolerate those except me. What you just said is what everyone else told her. She should try to be alone for some time and be comfortable with herself. But she is unable to do it. She is very dependent on someone else. Anyone else than herself to make decisions and basically navigate through life. Wow, I'm glad you responded. And I would like to say this, man. I bet you're probably considering going back to her simply because you feel bad for her. You feel bad for her. Don't be her crutch, man, because you're only hurting yourself. Like people said previously, like people said previously in other comments, you're just harming yourself. Don't do it because you feel bad for her, man. She did what she did. She has to live with it, man. You move on and you go make yourself happy. Do do what you want to do. And I'm telling you, going to be someone's plan B and their crutch is not going to make you happy. It's going to cause you to go into depression and, and you to be frustrated and, and may cause you mental issues. And here he is again. He says, thank you all for your advices. I must say, what I think I really feel for her now is not love. I feel pity for her, see? She really is just a child who never grew up, who never had the strength to face life itself on her own, with all her problems. And I have been her crutch to lean on and carry her through everything. We have been through rough times and I accepted a lot of crap from her, things that I thought no one else would have accepted, and now it seems they don't. I'm a thousand times stronger than her. I moved on. I'm feeling good. 
I progressed well with my studies, fitness, and weight loss since we broke up. I am completely fine with living alone. I really thought of her. I never contacted her. I just pity her because I know how bad she must feel. But that's all. Absolutely, man, and I knew it. I knew it from when you commented up above to that one guy. I said, oh, yeah, he's he may consider it because he feels like she needs him. So he's just going to be there for her because he feels bad. That's never good. Don't ever, ever do anything like that. And I think you know that. And I think you understand that. So um, I don't think you'll get back with her. Um, man, salute to you. Stay away. Yeah, don't do it. But guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Wow. I'll catch you guys at the next one.